Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Hold My Nugget Studios for week 8 of your 2019 NFL Thursday Night Football Game Highlight Commentary Live from Minneapolis, Minnesota as the Vikings host the Washington Redskins. Opening possession for the Purple Rain, Kirk family member Cousins. Play action fake going down the middle. He's got Stefan Doug Trio use TM28 digs. Shit. Butterfingers can't hold on to the football recovered by the Redskins. But on the ensuing drive, hey, Law and Order Case Keenum, what you eating? Butterfingers, monkey see? Monkey do. They give the ball right back to Minnesota. Third and eight, Kirk family member Cousins would find Kyle on the eighth reindeer. Rudolph, he'd carry the ball to the 37. That set up Dan Bailey for a 50-yard field goal. He'd bang it through the uprights, and it's good. Ensuing drive for the man who orchestrated the Minneapolis miracle. Law and Order Case Keenum would turn on Rick and Morty, find Scary Tail. McLaurin to move the chains. He would look right. He'd connect with Paul Richardson. Then a few plays later, entering the second quarter, third and four, he'd look for McLaurin once again, but there's a little bit of laundry on the field. It appears Xavier Rhodes is out here competing with laundromats. Not only does he help dry people's wardrobe, he's handing out clotheslines. Third and goal for the Washington Redskins. Law and order Case Keenan would throw the ball into the dirt. Somebody explain to me who tapped the button extremely fast on his Madden controller, because I'm not understanding why he didn't run this into the end zone. Grant Granted, it would have got called back because number 75 was holding. But still, why would you throw the ball there? Just run it. Hopkins would connect on a 21-yard field goal. We got a tie game. First and 20 for Kirk family member Cousins. He dumped the ball off to Dalvin. My mom likes to cook. He'd run through more Redskins than a Pilgrim. Stephon Doug Trio used TM28 digs. <laughs> He'd be participating in the Macaulay Culkin Challenge. There's no adults around. He'd finally get stopped inside the 25. Hand off to discount dreadlock Dalvin Cook. Alexander Madison gets the handoff. He'd carry it to the 13-yard line. Mamma mia. Suplex City, bitch. Here I go. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. We got to the SpongeBob. Yet another field goal for Dan Bailey. We've got the Vikings regaining the lead. The Redskins on the hunt for Allen Iverson because they're looking to answer the field goal. Lauren order case key and would move the chains and then Adrian fuck out here Mark Ingram I just passed Jerome Bettis for 7th all time on the rushing list while your bum ass ain't never gonna reach my level of success Peterson would pick up a first down very next play Law and Order Case Keenum's got a screen he dump it off and this man's got more blocks than a Lego movie he bring the ball to the 10 a few plays later Keenum takes the snap holy shit Hopkins would line up for a 30-yard field goal. He'd kick it through the uprights, and it's good. I know a man who can't make that kick. Cody Parkey! I got a better chance seeing a porn star become president than seeing you make a kick. Put your motherfucking head back down. The Vikings would then open their Bibles to Heronicles 4, verses 17. What the hell's the difference between Fruit Loops and Apple Jacks? Trust in the power of dreadlocks, you'll begin to rub your nutsacks. As Dalvin Cook would take advantage and molest the Redskins defense. He was out there looking like a woman at a homosexual orgy. He simply was not touched. He'd carry the ball inside the tent. The Vikings now in the Adom colored zone. Rosetta Stone Hebrew, you fucking Jew. As Dalvin Cook would fight his way into the end zone, we've got our first touchdown on the day. You sneaky Jew rat. We'd into the third quarter. Kirk family member Cousins looking to go deep. He's got Stefan Doug Trio use TM28 digs. <laughs> And of course it's a completed pass because who's covering them? Bum ass Josh Norman and Ron University graduate. He is garbage. <laughs> Josh Norman gets beat more than a penis at an all-boys camp. Dane Bailey would put another field goal through the uprights. The Vikings take a 10-point lead. Dwayne Haskins would enter the game for Case Keenum and Adrian. Fuck out of here, Mark Ingram. You thought your team was one of the few with a Negro quarterback. Well, now we got one, two. Peterson would carry the ball for a first down. Very next play, Adrian. Fuck out of here, Mark Ingram. I just passed Ladanian Tomlinson for sixth all-time on the rushing list. While your bum ass ain't never going to reach my level of success, Peterson would carry it for a first down. Whoa, wait. You see that guy at quarterback? You're probably wondering how he found himself in this situation. Well, we don't have time for a backstory. Just know that. Looks like you're about to get pwned. Oh, no! Hopkins would line up for a 43-yard field goal. He'd connect and cut the deficit to one touchdown. Ensuing drive, we got the Frank Estanza challenge down in Minnesota because... Mm, I stopped short. Third and six, Dwayne Haskins looking over the middles, got a man. Wahoo! But he plays... 
for the other team. Pass intercepted by the dreadlock. Powers of Minnesota. The Vikings would begin to embark on a drive that would beat the clock like a masturbating time wizard as they would go 12 plays, 54 yards for 6 minutes and 23 seconds. Plus, they would tack on an extra 15 for a personal foul where they'd receive a headbutt that you can only find in the Elix Forest. God damn, this game got more kicks than a Hispanic household. You know how Mexicans always got Jordans. It's wild, ain't it? Dan Bailey connects on a 40-yard field goal. They go up 19 to 9. Here come the Redskins, baby. Dwayne Haskins. Oh, oh shit! Then on the ensuing drive, the Minnesota Vikings would fire up their Netflix account. They'd turn on an Amy Schumer special and begin to waste people's time as they go on a 14 play, 77 yards, 8 minute drive. Alexander Madison would activate his dreadlock powers, rub his nutsack all over the Redskins defense. This play would get called back only to see him on third and 19 pick up another first down anyway and carry it inside the 15. Under a minute left to play, fourth and five for the Vikings. Madison would fail to pick up the first down. The Redskins get a stop. But did that help them come back and win? Absolutely not for the Washington Redskins. Take out your Metro cards and get aboard the L train. Why aren't you following me? Why haven't you subscribed already? You don't hear this shit? I'm hilarious. What the hell's wrong with y'all? What's wrong with y'all? Oh, son.